Hello guys, I'm Paul from dronesglider.com and this is the solo review for the Xiaomi Fimi X8. This is one of the most popular drones lately and for a good reason. I got mine from Banggood and it seems there already are additional accessories like shoulder bags, ND filters, gimbal camera protectors and even a multi-charger for it. I'll also leave a coupon code down in the description so you can get it even cheaper than $500. You can save up to $100 with the coupon codes down there. It is limited, so I can't guarantee that it's gonna be there when you check it. The transmitter screams quality like we've been used before with the Fimi A3, but this time it doesn't come with a built-in screen. The sticks feel great and the button configuration is quite simple. A return to home red button, on and off, launch button and the 5 direction joystick that can be calibrated to whatever you like. The two scroll wheels for gimbal and exposure and in the back there are two camera and photo buttons. Here is where you connect your phone with one of the three included cables. I feel like it's even easier to connect it than the DJI remote and what's really cool is that you can fit even a small tablet in there like an iPad mini. Overall I am very pleased with the transmitter and how it feels in hand. The drone camera comes covered in this foam gimbal protector that I actually think works pretty great and is quite reusable, even though you might think you need to throw it away. The drone feels good in hand and has quite a small format. It's actually slimmer than the Mavic 2 Pro. A full comparison with it will come soon. The folding is satisfying to do and more intuitive than the Mavic Design 2. It comes with the brushless motors and foldable props. Again, the attention to detail can be seen at every spot including the quality landing rubber feet. The bottom side has one optical flow camera and a sonar sensor to help with positioning. But remember that this drone doesn't come with front-facing obstacle avoidance. The 3-axis camera gimbal does an amazing job at stabilizing 4K 12MP camera that has an f2.2 aperture and a field of view of about 80 degrees. The battery should last about 33 minutes in perfect conditions according to Xiaomi but in real-life scenarios you can go somewhere over 25 minutes or so. The drone settings and app are quite similar to what you find on DJI drones, with a lot of options to choose from. The app shows all the important information like distance, height, satellites connected, signal strength and the camera settings. You can even see how much storage you have left on the microSD so you don't end up in trouble. I found the drone to be quite a stable flyer. No connectivity issues at all, that's because it has both GPS and GLONASS. I did experience some image lag at lower distances of a few hundred meters when flying in a seat because of all the Wi-Fi interference and objects between the receiver and transmitter. Same happens with the Mavic 2 Pro, but in open areas outside the city it's safe to say you'll get more distance than you'll probably need. The camera has undeniably great 3-axis stabilization. It can record up to 4K 30fps video, which is what I recommend, as in my opinion the 1080p footage is not something I would consider to be of professional quality. The 2.7K video is also really good, if you think 4K is too much for you to edit. I'll let you decide how you like this footage so far.
the photos are also 4K and pretty sharp, but if you zoom in you'll see some noise in the sky especially. This drone is an excellent flyer in my opinion, and the huge battery life, portability and GPS stability make it an awesome drone for this price. I would consider this to be a solid DJI Mavic Pro competitor at a way lower price. It also comes with a few interesting flight modes. Probably the one I'll use most is Course Lock mode that will allow you to set a direction for the drone to fly, while you can turn it around and capture footage that seems taken with the glide cam, great for cinematic shots. There's also fixed wing mode that's really fun and makes you feel like you're piloting a plane. Would be great to try with a pair of goggles. I never really used waypoints when flying drones, but just so you know, the Fimi X8 also has this function. Probably the most popular feature of any GPS camera drone would be the Smart Track, and in this case it works quite damn well. Now, because the Fimi doesn't have obstacle avoidance, you must make sure you fly in an open area. It managed to follow me smoothly while on the scooter, although at some point I tried to trick it by going underneath, and I actually succeeded. It's not a shame Xiaomi, everybody does it from time to time. I also did this test with the Mavic 2 Pro. Subscribe and hit the bell notification icon if you want to be one of the first to see the comparison. It also comes with a spiral mode, that's something we've seen on DJ Spark before, and the classical orbit, that works great. But it's a bit of a hassle, as you have to first position the drone above the subject you try to record, and then move back to start the orbiting itself. It even has a search and rescue flight mode that lets you zoom in and out with the right wheel. You can use this to simply zoom in whenever you want, which is pretty nice to have. Let me know down in the comments what drones you want me to compare with the Fimi X8. I definitely recommend to buy it if you're looking for a really good compact camera drone under $500. If you really want obstacle avoidance, you can go for the DJ Spark, but it doesn't come with a 4K camera or 3-axis stabilization, or the huge battery life. If you're still undecided what to choose or have a specific budget, go on the link at the top or the one in the description to check my top drones in each price category, from under $50 up to $1000 and more. However, if you're really specific about the specs you want on your drone, go and check the drones for sale tool that you can find over here or again in the description. There you can filter the drones by price, battery life, range, camera, gimbal stabilization, and even by weight to see if you have to register the drone in your country or not. Don't forget to check the next recommended video for you right here, check the drones for sale tool right here, or if you want, you can subscribe and hit the bell notification icon if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching and see you later alligator!